Welcome back to part three of our series of creating a 16 by 16 LED matrix. And for this part, we're going to be focusing on creating the ROM. So this will hold all of our character data for characters zero through to nine. Now, if you've only just jumped in at this video, there are two videos before this, which I'll have linked in the description below. And that'll basically walk you through the process of how to plan out your FPGA designs and then a bit of an introduction to the EDA playground. So let's jump into it. In the last video, we created the clock and also gave you that introduction to the EDA playground. In this video, we'll create all of the code that will generate a 24-bit RGB output to go to the receive and we'll also add the color to it and output it one pixel at a time. So looking specifically at this part of the diagram, we basically have to create all of these different modules to make that work. So today we're just going to focus on this part here. In this one we'll create the ROM to hold the 10 digits. Each digit will be a 16 by 16 array based on the LEDs layout. So it'll basically be like this, which means we've got 256 individual bits that we need to hold data for in our ROM. So when we times that by 10, we have this many bits of memory. Now we've got a few options on how we approach this. We could make a ROM which is 2,560 individual addresses with one bit each. But to do that, we're going to have to read 256 times. So the addressing on this can get a little bit ugly. So we would read first lead, process it, second lead, process it, third lead, process it, and keep on working down like that. The second option is we do it a row at a time. So we'd end up with 160 addresses of 16 bits each. And the last option is we read an entire array in which case we've got 10 addresses of 256 bits each. So that means to read a character, we just have one read event instead of either 16 or 256 with the previous examples. So this is the option we're going to use because when it comes to trying to select the individual character, knowing that it's zero through to nine is a lot easier when we're trying to jump between characters than trying to work out, well, of that 2,560, where do I start and stop? So while this ends up with a bit of post-processing to get to the individual bits, it makes it a lot easier in the addressing side of things. Okay, before we jump into the code, I just point out that we're still using System Verilog and we're still using the same simulator and the rest we're not worrying about what it does at this stage. All right, so in the code, we've created a module called ROM Character. That has an input for our address and that will be four bits wide so we can handle the characters zero to nine, potentially up to 16 if we wanted to, but we're only doing zero to nine. And as discussed with the 16 by 16 lead matrix, we need 256 individual pixels. So that's the character data output. Now the way we create a ROM is in this line here. First of all, we need to, to define the row and that's how many individual bits of data that's associated to each location, so the 256, and then how many rows of that data will we have, which is this one here, so up to 16. The next line allows us to take what we'll be looking up with the data and infer it into the output. So the way that we're looking up the data is literally the memory location, which is this register here, at the given address that we've gotten from here, we'll look up in this table. And if it was zero in that, we would return this 256 bit code out. So if it was a one and so on, it would be the irrelevant code. If you're wondering how this bunch of numbers represents a, in this case, a zero or a one or a two, each one of them is a digit, I'll show you towards the end of the video. So to test it, I've created a test bench over here. 
and it's basically as we've done before anywhere where I've got an input becomes a register anywhere where I've got an output it becomes a wire and then I've just mapped the names across the same input name as the output name just for simplicity and I'm calling it unit under test so we're referencing this module and internally we're creating an instance called unit under test and my dump file so I can get my graphics on the output so what I'm doing is just passing in three addresses but not in a sequential order just so you can see that it's not just a sequence so it'll be one zero two and when I run that you'll see that where I had my address one for the first two nanoseconds I've got the data that corresponds to one then the data that corresponds to address zero and the data that corresponds to address two so if you just take a note of we've got f8 f0 uh, 07 f8 as opposed to 01 f8 if I go back and look at that you will see that that follows these ones down here in the order that I specified all right so how did we make these codes so if you look up the top here there's a website that I've listed and I've already got a copy of that open and that allows us to create a matrix of pretty much any size we want so I want mine to be a 16 by 16 and literally all we do is draw in what we want so if I want the character one I will just draw something like this uh, make it a little bit wider extra bit there and come across and down so it might be something like this and when we generate that it will give us this code here and all I've got to do is remove the OX and the commas and join all of that together and that will take me back to the value that I had through there so really really simple way of doing it there's various tools that do it some of them are pre-populated but they're not all flexible in the matrix size so that's the one I'm currently using so to recap where we're going with this series of videos we've just created the character ROM in the next video we're going to create the address counter so that will output the values of 0 through to 9 and it will increment every one second now if you're finding these videos interesting please do give me a thumbs up or even better a subscribe uh, if you've got any questions it's really easy if people are guiding me with the content they want throw it down in the comments and I will get back to you Thanks for watching.